Hey, my beautiful cancers, how y'all doing today? I'm doing well. Welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button if anything resides. If it's not your first time, hey family, I hope you're having a good day. Me? It's going pretty good, I can't complain. You know, trying to knock these readings out, you know, trying to get, get my people ready. <laughs> Yeah, well, before I get to y'all, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for my beautiful cancers. I ask you right now, Lord God, to give them clarity, understanding, Lord God. Let them be able to walk into this fullness of joy that they fully deserve. I thank you for their lives and the lives that they're changing. Victory is ours. All right, cancer, we're going to dive into a couple of questions, and then we're going to get into the, to the daily energy, or whenever you get this. All right, the first question is, if I didn't feel shame or fear, what would I do now? So for some of you cancers, I feel like it's some things that you want to dive in, but you feel like other people might question you or feel some type of way about what the fuck you do it. And uh, right now, Spirit is saying, if you didn't fear what other people would think or do or fail, fit failure, what would you be doing? What, what would it be? Something that brings you joy, something that brings you happiness, you know, something where it seems like you just lose, you lose sight of time because time doesn't exist when you're in that place of peace. Spirit wants you to get back to that energy. That energy is where you're at your best, at your most creative state right now, where we're moving into. Spirit wants the collective to be creative, to tap into their own personal, unique power. And it's the very thing that you want to do that's going to make you happy, that's going to make you those millions or those billions. Like, it's not. See, the thing is, we, we're do, we were taught to do things, even stick with jobs that were not fulfilling, long as they provide. And some of them don't even do that. So we got stuck in the men, in the mental and the mind frame and set to stick with shit that do that does not make us happy. That's why people are still in 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 karmic ass marriages and relationships because they just they just don't want to grow and they just want to stick to some shit that ain't working. We don't do that. I ain't sticking with nothing that ain't working for me. That's why it's not working. <laughs> You gotta get something that fit. If it don't fit, don't force it. First of all, I'ma need you to bag back because uh, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, all right. Where am I going and why? Where am I going and why? I feel like a lot of cancers, you could be questioning yourself of what are you here for? Sometimes we just had that time in life where it's just like, What's going on? Where am I heading? Like, you know, like we'll have an idea, inclination on where we're going and some things will change and it will ch change our whole direction, our whole conscious of shift of what are we really doing? Where are we really going? I thought it was going to work like this, but you have to find something, find something that makes you happy. So it doesn't matter what situation comes, that will be you. And I feel like in order to come into contact with with things and situations that are going to be long term and permanent, you have to know who you are. You have to know what you want. It sounds easy, but the truth is, it a lot of people really don't know. I was one of them. I think I don't care. I don't care. But I found my niche, and I'm scratching the shit out of it. <laughs> you feel me? It's okay. It's okay to not know what the fuck you want to do, but you. But I feel like you need to start putting forth action to actually identify what it is that you want to do, what makes you happy. Don't fuck everybody else. I don't care, family included. Fuck them. What is it that you like? And you stick to it. I don't care how I look, how bad it look, how, how long everybody's doing it. So what? They ain't doing it like you. I bet you can't do it like me. <laughs> I bet you can't do it like me. <laughs> Facts. You can't do it like you cancel. You know they can't. This is a little light in my beautiful cancer. Okay. <sighs> Two cards came out. The first one is mm, hermit mode. Feeling like a Virgo, huh? <laughs> so I feel like you take you you've taken time and you just been kind of like gathering up information. You have been pulling your energy back 
just trying to get some type of clarity and understanding. And if it was some things that you felt could have went different in the past, I feel like you're making sure going forward that you are not making those same mistakes, Cancer, which is a great thing. And I feel also you're trying to go in and see how are you going to emerge. Cancer, I feel like right now there's a time, this is a time where you are being remade. It's like you were switching your image, like you want to come out as this renewed person you give me a angle like cancer you give me like a little scorpio feel i mean i know water signs but it's like this energy of being transformed like i'm not who i was like my talk different my walk my attitude my mindset um in the bible um uh Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, a brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable from God to your reason, service, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. But be not conformed unto this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. But be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. The renewal of your mind transform you. So right now, I feel like this process of you going into hermit mode, you are renewing your mind, which is transforming your very being, your very existence. As a man thinketh, so is he. You're going to be coming out seeing things differently and they shall be because you see them that way. I really hope you guys understand what the fuck I just said. I really do. Anyway. Okay. And that's the reason why this question was here. If you didn't feel the shame, so it's something that you're shedding. You're shedding off some skins. You're kind of like a snake. You just, you, you, you're taking off the old and the new is about to be sh as shiny and bright. People are about to know who the fuck you are without a shadow of a doubt. Ooh, I like that energy, Cancer. Keep it up. Mmm. The vibrant. You got a little vibrant energy. Ooh. The Cancer's vibrant. The Cancer's vibrant. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, then we had the two of pentacles. I feel like right now you're about to be busy. And something you're working on or something you've been working on, probably is trying to stay focused on your money, just uh, trying to get uh, more grounded. I feel that Spirit is saying while you, um, while you are moving around and things are starting to pick up after you come out of this hermit mode, because I feel like right now you, you feel like you need to stay focused on on business and, and stuff like that spirit says do not forget to look around you because there are more opportunities more ships coming in and you don't want to stay focused on one or just or one one or two things like don't let that t it like consume all of your power all of your energy because there's opportunities around you and i feel like if you let something consume you uh, even if you're dealing with different people, uh, Spirit is saying you need to be mindful of also the energies that you have around you because um, because you don't want to miss something focusing too much on something that's probably not, that's just taking your attention away from the big... <clears throat> <laughs> So you are about to make a judgment on somebody you was juggling or something you was juggling. Okay, so there's a judgment card right here. Now we're getting, okay, we see you, Cancer. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty. <laughs> no, but Cancer, okay, so we got judgment right here, right? So I feel like right now you're making a decision. I feel like you were, um, I feel like there were some things that you, that was taking up more time, more of your time than needed to be. And you were trying to, you know, be here, there, or do this and that. It was like a, a energy of like, soon as you came out for some of you guys, some of y'all could, some, some people could have came out of jail and they came back trying to just do everything for everybody and stuff like that. And, and, uh, and I feel like within that time, sometimes people lose, lose, lose sight of their goals and their self because they start 
uh, trying to take on so many things, especially for other people. You know what I'm saying? Like you, because you have some people that can grab you and bring you a part of their world. They trap you in their world. It's a psychological thing. And then like they'll have you doing stuff for them and you lose sight of what the hell you had to do. Like, hold on, I was supposed to be somewhere. You, I'm here two hours later. What the fuck is going on? I don't want to be in this world no more. Get my ass out. <laughs> so you have to have a strong enough mind for like, and that was part of you being busy trying to cater, boom, boom, move, boom, 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 still do you. It's like judgment is coming. You're, you're making the judgment like, okay, look, where am I going? And why the fuck am I going here? If it ain't benefiting me and it ain't doing nothing for my purpose, for my, 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 my higher good, Bro, I'm not about no. I'm not about to do this. You can't just waste my time. Time I can't get back, and I gotta, I gotta be investing time in my motherfucking self. God uh, damn it, cause I need you for something. You gonna be gone, ripping and running, doing your shit. Ain't that something? Oh, I was gonna say all right, Cassie, but I got two more cards I want to pull. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull some cards from the orb today. Let's just live that. My be Cassie's. Yeah, so, oh, that's another thing. Spirit say, please be mindful of uh, those energy vampires, those people that, that come around and, and have you rip and run them everywhere and do everything with them as long as they're taking up your time, but you're not doing anything for you. Like, they'll, they'll, they'll consume all of your time and energy. And at the end of the day, you have done nothing, nothing progressive for your own personal growth. It was the reason why I had to say that. Take it as you need fit. Any of you, take it. Messages let a lie on my beautiful kisses. My loving kisses look healing heart. Uh-huh, healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship, addictions. Yeah, these these relationships, you need to cut them off. They sound addictive. That just sounds like too much. Like, they, they got you doing them. First of all, you ain't even doing this shit for yourself. Like, I, you, you ever had a mofo? Be have you want to be have you want to be so concerned about helping them get through some shit and they ass ain't even helping they self like bro, what the if you don't put on your motherfucking shoes how we gonna walk down the street <laughs> you ain't walking with me with your barefoot ass <laughs> whenever you get through I'm not about to play with you Those country bumpkin that thing in the house I'm not about to play with you. Want somebody to help you, but you won't even help your goddamn self. Okay, judgment is you about to start dating somebody else. You about to judgment. I feel like you about to get out there. You about to start socializing because between work and whatever else you had going on, or whatever else, I don't know. This could have been a job that they kept you moving around or something. But something you had to realize it's not um it's not gonna work out. <laughs> And I feel like uh, meeting, seeing new people, getting back out there. I feel like this is this is like an opportunity for you to really get grounded and focus on what it is that you truly want. And 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 I feel like as soon as you make that decision and you let go of things, God will start putting in new opportunities for you with people that are aligning with where you want to go. All right, my beautiful Kansas. I love y'all, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please know that you are valued. You are loved. You are very special. And if anybody say otherwise, they are a motherfucking lie. We are the gods, all right? Tap in. Love you. Love yourself. Hey, like and subscribe. <laughs>